Welcome to live interactive English. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. Hi, everyone. I'm Nina. And today, the title of our article is "Remember, Remember, the Fifth of November." I wa- wait. Why is there two remembers? I wonder if that's a typo. I don't think it's a typo because this is actually part of a poem. Oh, really? It was written. In order to remember this date because it is a significant date,、okay. so it goes. Remember, remember. The, I'll tell you part of it. I won't、okay. tell you the whole poem. Remember, remember the fifth of November. Gunpowder, treason, and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder, treason, should ever be forgot. Ooh, sounds serious. Yeah, it is because treason is like when you do something a. Against the government, and we know gunpowder is used to blow things up to or blow, to <laughs> to blow things up. Yeah, yeah to put it. In, we don't really put gunpowder in guns anymore. Yeah, like that. but yeah, gunpowder would be used in order to blow something up. So it looks like there was going to be some treason, and sounds more like it was going to be or was. I don't know,、mm-hmm. and a terrorist. Attack! Oh wow. Okay, so I guess in this case we're gonna get into the article and learn a little bit more about this event, huh? Yeah, we'll see what exactly happened that was so significant that they decided to write a poem about it so that you never ever forget、okay. this date, the fifth of November. All right, let's get into it. Every year on November fifth, British people go out into the cold night in order to celebrate Bonfire Night. They watch fireworks displays, eat hot dogs, and light huge fires. But where does this tradition come from? In 1605, a group of men tried to blow up the House of Lords. This would have killed many important people, including the king. They wanted to do this because their religion was being treated badly in England. Luckily, in the early hours of November fifth, their plan was stopped. Okay, so let's take a look at the article. Remember, remember the fifth of November. Okay, it rhymes、fifth. because、yes. it's a poem. Exactly. So let's learn more about the fifth of November. Every year on November fifth. British people go out into the cold night in order to celebrate Bonfire Night. Okay. Oh, okay. So Bonfire Night. What's a bonfire? A bonfire is like when you make a really big fire,、Ooh. like you put like really big sticks of wood, and it could、uh-huh. be other material. But the real key point is, it's a very big fire. Oh yeah, people sometimes make bonfires at the beach, right? Yeah, when they have a party. I've done that before. That's pretty fun. <laughs> yes, it is. Okay, so bonfire night must be is also on November fifth. So、mm-hmm. they call that night bonfire night. Oh really? Okay. okay. They watch fireworks displays, eat hot dogs, and light huge. Fires, so you could say a bonfire is a huge fire. Okay. They eat hot dogs. Okay, but where does this tradition come from? Hmm. Okay. Okay. Let's find out more so, about it. So they watch fireworks displays. Now to display,、um, a display just means to put something in a place where people can see it easily. So to show people. Yeah,、right? to show something to people. So here you're showing. Fireworks.、Ah. So it's kind of like a fireworks show or a fireworks display. You could say both, actually. For example,、um, you can say there was a beautiful flower display at the entrance to the park. Okay. So continuing with the article, in 1605, a group of men tried to blow up the House of Lords.、Ooh. Wow. Okay. I wonder what these group of men, <laughs> why they tried to do that. This would have killed many important people, including the king. So maybe they didn't like the way the king ruled,、mm-hmm. and they wanted to kill the king. 
Oh boy. Okay. Yeah. So to blow up, to blow something up, means to create an explosion. Yeah. Right. And to usually, your intention is to destroy something. Yeah. Or in this case, someone. <laughs> yeah. Something or somebody.、Uh -huh. Okay. Continuing. They wanted to do this because their religion was being treated badly in England. Okay, so they had some religious tensions. Yeah, and they felt that the king wasn't really properly treating their religion. Yeah, maybe、right? he didn't like their religion, or he only or preferred just of a different religion. Exactly. Right. So a religion. What so, is a religion? A religion is a system of beliefs and worship.、Mm. So,、um, for example, there's Christianity, right? Right. So, if everyone believes the same thing in that religion, they're in the same religion.、Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for example, religion can play an important role in a person's life.、Mm. Hmm. Are you religious? I am not religious. I'm what you call an atheist. Oh. Which means I don't have a religion.、Uh -huh. Like I said, A means not,、mm -hmm. and then theism has to do with believing in a religion. So it means no religion, basically. I see. So no religion for me.、Uh, luckily, in the early hours of November fifth, their plan was stopped. Ooh, I wonder who stopped them. Yeah. Dun dun dun. So, so the word got out that they were going to blow this place up, and、mm -hmm. then somebody, you know, basically foiled their plan. Okay. So let's learn a little bit more about who and how this happened after this break. Okay. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。今天的课程要介绍英国篝火之夜的由来。Bonfire 这个字就表示篝火、引火。Bonfire Night 就表示篝火之夜。每一年的十一月五日，英国人都会在寒冷的夜里外出来庆祝篝火之夜。他们会看烟火表演、吃热狗、点燃大火。那为什么会有这样的传统呢？课文就提到说，在一六零五年，有一群人试图炸毁上议院。这原本会杀死很多重要人物，包括国王。那他们会想这么做，是因为他们的宗教在英格兰受到了恶劣对待。那幸运的是。在十一月五号的凌晨，他们的计划被阻止了。那 Shane 老师这时候用到 foil 当动词来表达阻止、制止。foil 就是 f o i l 那个字。好，再来看课文单词 display。display 当名词，它可以指表演、展示或陈列品。religion 这个字则表示宗教、宗教信仰。那老师们这时候有提到 Christianity， 它表示基督教。还有 atheist 是指无神论者。好，那这边一个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，这边我们来学习 would have 加上过去分词 P P， 表示过去某事可能发生的结果或影响。那它常常会搭配与过去事实相反的假设句，也可以单独使用。例如 ，Frank would have won the race if he hadn't tripped。要是 Frank 没有绊倒，他本来会赢得比赛的。好，那接下课文中。This event is known as the Gunpowder Plot, since the men were going to use many barrels of gunpowder in their attack. One of these men, Guy Fox, was the person in charge of the explosives. Consequently, he has become a famous figure in British history. In fact, a popular tradition on Bonfire Night is to burn an effigy of him. It has been a long time since 1605. Therefore, many people just see Bonfire Night as a time when they can eat tasty foods and see some cool fireworks. However, it is always important to remember why we celebrate traditions and what they mean. Welcome back, everyone. So before the break, we learned a little bit more about November fifth, right?、Mm -hmm. And we learned that it is Bonfire Day for British people, and it came from 1605 when a group of men planned to blow up the House of Lords, right? right? So that would have killed a lot of people, including the king. And they wanted to do that because they felt like their religion was being mistreated,、mm -hmm. right? Right. But luckily, on that same day, 
in the early hours, it was stopped. This plan. Great.、Hmm. Okay, so continuing, this event is known as the Gunpowder Plot, since the men were going to use many barrels of gunpowder in their attack. Now, when we say a plot. We mean like a plan, yes, right? So you can say the gunpowder plan.、Mm -hmm. A plot is usually a plot to do something, or you've、um, been scheming and planning, right? Exactly. So we have a vocabulary word barrel. So they were going to use lots of barrels of gunpowder,、mm -hmm. and a barrel is a large round container, usually made of wood or metal. Mm -hmm. With flat ends and usually curved sides.、Mm -hmm. So, for example, they filled the barrel with fresh water. Okay. So, continuing with the story, one of these men, Guy Fox, was the person in charge of the explosives.、Mm. Okay. Let's see if he well, if he got stopped, then I guess he didn't do a good job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> being、right? in charge. He failed. Yeah. Continuing. <laughs> Consequently, he has become a famous figure in British history. So, consequently, actually means like therefore or、yeah. as a result, or as、okay. a consequence of, yeah. Exactly. So he was in charge of the explosives, and I guess you know something happened. That's why he is a famous figure in British history.、Right. So, figure is a famous or well-known person,、hmm. right? Yeah. So. He became famous for doing something bad or <laughs>、yeah. wanting to do something bad. Yeah. So, for example, Sean is a key figure in the company. So he's an important person in the company. Exactly. <clears throat> okay.、Um, in fact, a popular tradition on bonfire night is to burn an effigy of him. So an effigy, effigy. is just like a model or sculpture that、mm. looks like a person. I see. So here, basically, it'll just probably they'll. I guess they can make it out of anything, maybe、yeah. like cardboard or something, and it will just look like him, and then they burn it. <laughs> wow, they're angry. Yeah. Okay, continuing. It has been a long time since 1605. Therefore, many people just see Bonfire Night as a time when they can eat tasty foods and see some cool fireworks. Yeah, now that's like a lot of <laughs> traditions and a lot of holidays we have now. Exactly. We don't really celebrate exactly what the holiday was meant to be about. Like, right. About right. Like we end up just. Making、having fun, <laughs> day to get together, have a party, have a party, eat good food, and a lot of times, you know,、mm -hmm. during celebrations, we do use fireworks. Yeah, but I think it's definitely really cool to know the story behind the holiday. Yeah,、right? that makes it much more interesting, right?、Yeah. Um, we have a vocabulary word, tasty, which is an adjective. It just means to have a strong and pleasant taste when it is eaten.、Mm. So you can say, for example, Martha made a tasty cake for the party. Or you could say yummy, right? <clears throat> oh, sure could.、Yeah. Okay.、Um, continuing. However, it is always important to remember why we celebrate traditions and what they mean. Exactly. That's what we said earlier. So you know, when you do have a special holiday, you could actually get into the story and learn how it became a holiday. Right. In so, the first place. Exactly. So there's more meaning to the celebration. Yeah. Like when you think of something like Halloween, right?、Mm -hmm. The way that we celebrate it <laughs> is probably has nothing to do with the origins of the holiday. Like、yeah. we dress up and. You know, we get candy,、mm -hmm. but nobody really knows what we're celebrating. It's just fun. Yeah, exactly.、Right? So it is kind of interesting when you can learn about what the real reason is for the celebration. And in this case, we're celebrating right that it didn't happen. Something、exactly. didn't happen,、mm -hmm. as opposed to something have having happened. Yeah. So okay, well, it was very interesting. Now I know a little bit. I've heard the name Guy Fox before, but I、okay. didn't really understand 
exactly what role he played in history. So well, now we know he's a bad guy. Now we know. I thought, yeah, I thought he was a good guy, but now I know he's a bad guy. Mm. Okay, that's all the time we have for today, and we will see you next time. Bye. 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 Just now, in 1605, there was a group of people who tried to destroy the Supreme Court. Fortunately, their plan was thwarted. This incident was called the Fire Plot, because they were planning to use a lot of fire in the attack. The leader of the group was called Guy Fawkes. He was the leader of the fire plot. 因此呢，他就成了英国历史上的知名人物。当人们在庆祝篝火之夜的时候，有一个热门传统就是焚烧他的雕像。那虽然很多人把篝火之夜看作是一个可以吃美食啊、看烟火的时刻，不过呢，我们试着去了解为什么要庆祝传统，还有了解他们的意义，其实是很重要的。来看单字 barrel，barrel barrel 是桶子。那文中用到 barrel of gunpowder 就是指火药桶。再来看。Figure, figure, 它是指人物，也有人影的意思。那么 tasty， 它是形容美味的、可口的。再看到补充单词 effigy。Effigy 它是指雕像，尤其是指令人厌恶的人的雕像。那它还有肖像的意思。那这边两个重点，我们进入文法时间。好，我们来看第一个重点是 see 什么什么 as 加上名词或形容词，这是表达将什么视为什么。那么 see 在这边是表达认为，把什么什么看作。我们也可以用 view 或是 regard 或者是 think of 等等其他的动词或动词片语来替换。我们看两个例句。Ian sees himself as an optimist. Ian 认为自己是个乐观主义者。His friends see him as outgoing. 他的朋友认为他很外向。好，第二个重点是关系副词 when 的用法。When 当关系副词，相当于 in which 或是 on which 或是 at which。引导表示时间的形容词短句，那用来修饰或是补述说明跟时间有关的先行词。那先行词是不明确的时间的话，我们就要用限定用法来修饰它。那么 when 前面不能加逗号。例如 ，There was a time when most people believed the Earth was the center of the universe. 曾经有一度，人们认为地球是宇宙的中心。那先行词 a time 它是不明确的时间，我们后面紧接着形容词短句来限定修饰这个时间。When 的前面不加逗号。那补充一下，当先行词它是明确的时间时，我们就要用非限定用法，关系副词前面要加逗号。例如 ，Gina likes to take a walk in the evening when the weather is cooler. Gina 喜欢在晚上散步，那时候天气比较凉爽。那后方的形容词短句是用来补充说明这个时间，所以我们用逗号把它隔开来。好，那以上这些讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。Every year on November 5th, British people go out into the cold night in order to celebrate Bonfire Night. They watch fireworks displays, eat hot dogs, and light huge fires. But where does this tradition come from? In 1605, a group of men tried to blow up the House of Lords. This would have killed many important people, including the king. They wanted to do this because their religion was being treated badly in England. Luckily, in the early hours of November 5th, their plan was stopped. This event is known as the Gunpowder Plot, since the men were going to use many barrels of gunpowder in their attack. One of these men, Guy Fox, was the person in charge of the explosives. Consequently, he has become a famous figure in British history. In fact, a popular tradition on Bonfire Night is to burn an effigy of him. It has been a long time since 1605. Therefore, many people just see Bonfire Night as a time when they can eat tasty foods and see some cool fireworks. However, it is always important to remember why we celebrate traditions and what they mean. Here's how to play. The host will be holding three cards. Each card will have two sentences containing a secret vocabulary word or phrase that has been replaced by the word bear. The host will read the sentences out loud for the contestants to guess. Whoever guesses first gets a point. The person with the most points wins, and you can play along too. 
Okay, we're going to play Guess the Bear today. Matt, are you ready? I'm ready. Stephen, are you ready? Always ready. Oh well, let's get this started. Okay, our first word is an adverb. One word. Greg didn't go home, but went to a bookstore. Bear. Bear of sugar. Cindy added honey to her tea. Instead. Ooh. Point goes to Stephen. Greg didn't go home, but went to a bookstore instead. Instead of sugar, Cindy added honey to her tea. Matt, don't worry, you can you can get a point. Okay. This next one is a noun, and it is one word. Okay. A bear from the window caught Helen's attention. The scared kitten didn't dare make any sudden bears. Movement. Ooh, producer. <laughs> Who do we give it to? We'll give it to we'll give it to Matt. Okay. A <laughs>、uh, movement from the window caught Helen's attention. The scared kitten didn't dare make any sudden movements. Okay, so we're one one. Okay. But this one is going to be two words. So whoever gets this one will win. It is a phrase. This isn't my pot bear bear, but it'll do. Taipei one oh one is many tourists a att- tourists attraction bear bear. Can you do that again? <laughs> This isn't my pot bear bear, but it'll do. Taipei one oh one is many tourists attraction bear bear. By default? Ooh, no. no.、Um, can you say the first sentence one more time? But like bot top.、Uh, say the first sentence again, but say it as if you would use that word. <clears throat> This isn't my pot bear bear, but it'll do. Per se? Nope. Uh, Taipei One Hundred One is many tourists' attraction. Bear, bear. By uh, kind of, like, kind of auto, like automatically. It's like yes. By by.、Uh, okay. Top spot. I don't know. This、uh, is not. This is not. This is not. Go to. I'm calling it. <laughs> What is it? Of choice.、Oh. This isn't my pot of choice, but it'll do. Taipei One Hundred One is many tourists' attractions of choice. Tourist attraction of choice. I think a lot of that was because we didn't have it. Excuse me, I'm doing a very great job hosting. Okay. okay.